Greetings and welcome to my channel, View From My Desktop. We here at View From My Desktop I like to show affordable hi-fi equipment that both sounds nice and is at a budget price. So let's get started. Okay, before we get started, please remember, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I uh, upload new videos. Now, I would like to thank everyone who has subscribed and I really do appreciate um, I really do appreciate that and I um, also appreciate when you comment and um, let me know about things that you're doing in your own system I really do appreciate that please continue to do so okay today we're going to talk about a class D um, amplifier um, I recently did an amplifier in the low side of the budget spectrum it was um under twenty dollars and this one is is on the other end of the budget spectrum this is over a hundred dollars um or goes around close to hundred and fifty dollars um this is the Ayima T9 Pro there's also a, an Ayima T9 and there's some slight differences um it doesn't have this meter here and um some things like that but it, the uh T9 is uh, a more a more affordable um, option um, to the uh, T9 Pro, um, but many things are similar. I think the, that may be one of the main uh, differences. I think um, uh, the meter and uh, the uh, T9 Pro has, I think, better tubes. Um, I'll give you some little specs about this here. Um, it's a two channel, 2.1 channel amp. Um, tubes that you can switch out. This comes with the JAN5725 tubes. Um, sampling rate, um, optical and coaxial rate, 24 bit times 192 kilohertz Bluetooth 24 bits 41.1 kilohertz um, it's a it's a it's a great it's a, it's a fantastic um, amplifier um, it, it has a 30 it can take a 32 volt power pack and it comes with one that's the only it comes with the with the power pack and it has a remote um, come with this remote here I'm going to show you some things that it does with the remote before I show you the back. Um, it has a selector on the remote. And you can change from coaxial, optical, Bluetooth, RCA, and USB, PC USB. You can also switch it on the, um, on the unit itself. It has volume control. You can also do that on the remote with volume control. And on the remote, you can also adjust the bass. You can adjust the bass and the treble here. Um, plus, minus nine. Minus nine up to plus nine. And this same with the treble. Plus nine down to a minus nine. It also has a thing for the um, display is on off off on and bright so it has three levels for the display here um, okay right now I don't have any I don't have any speakers connected to it but I'll show you how when the I'm playing something through Bluetooth and you can see the meter moving for the music the VU meters and also the meter on the side here on the other meter moves to the um, volume it also tells you what your uh, sampling rate is right here you can see it has the um, 44 in there so it shows you that also in this meter here and you can control the volume 
with the knob and with the remote also and select with the unit itself and with the um, remote okay we're going to show you what we have on the back of this unit here okay okay on the back input for the power source PC USB optical coaxial RCA auxiliary out so you can connect the subwoofer and it has five-way binding posts and that's it this is a fantastic little amplifier here and um, I think it's a good choice for about $150 or if you want to spend close to about a hundred dollars or maybe a little over a hundred dollars you can get the T9 the, the, without the Pro and uh, you know but um uh, hope you enjoyed the video and as always thanks for watching peace